Hey everyone, we're working outside today and we're going to be working on the exterior doors, French doors to my deck. Welcome to Uniquely Grace Designs. Chalk painting, furniture refinishing, DIY decor, home design. Let's get started. Hi everyone, it's Grace with Uniquely Grace and today we're going to be painting our exterior doors because we have an event coming up that we're hosting and these are pretty crappy and I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be doing the doors in black and then the frames again in white because the paint is coming off the frames. I've currently sanded down all the loose paint areas to make sure that there's no flaking anymore and I've checked all of that but then I gotta clean it and then I'll be ready to paint. All right, next is going to power wash it. Now we got to let it dry. Okay, so I wanted to show you really quick. I have this extra caulking that somebody put in here to reseal the window, which is fine. It needs to be there, but I don't need it completely sticking out into the glass and getting dirt in it. So let me show you how I'm getting rid of it, but not completely. I get a much cleaner look and they won't be sticking out looking all dirty after I paint this black and I won't have like this white caulking line. So I line it up with the molding, I push back and I gently tip to one corner and then I pull it towards the up or down direction. I just clean it up. So all the caulking that was needed is still in between the window and the molding keeping the water out. I've just gotten rid of the excess only. Now to tape off the window, I've got it cleaned. And I start here with a length of tape that's too big for the window, or for the, the long length. I'm going to start it right up in the corner against the molding on the window, pushing it all the way down. And lining it up again and pushing it down all the way into the corner. And then I take my knife and I push it down towards the next molding side edge. And now I've got a crisp, clean line there.
Okay, so I have this side taped off already. I do not have enough time to paint and tape both of them tonight and the weather is changing. Tomorrow it's supposed to be rainy, so I need to get the paint up on this door tonight so it has at least 12 to 24 hours to dry before the rain starts. And I don't think the tape's gonna last through that either, so I've got to get that side done first and then I'll be back for the other. So right now we've got um, the Duramax by Valspar Exterior Paint and Primer in the dark kettle black so it's going to be this dark color right here and um, it's already shook up I just picked it up recently yesterday so here we go when working on a paint that was mixed from light to dark from a white base to a black pretty much this everything on the lid is pretty much no good once you start digging your brush down in there you're gonna get to the white and it's gonna wind up being really streaky I am using my zebra palm brush today and a different one as well for the detailing. So I'll let you know when I get to that one. So it's really amazingly comfortable to hold. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and or for quite a while until later today when I can come back and do the last the second coat. Hopefully that's all I will need. I'm so excited, I've been waiting to do this for like a year. I barely use any of my paint can, but this is also going to be going on the railings. So we definitely need to use as little as possible everywhere we go so we can get every little bit out of this can. So I'm gonna cap it really quick and we'll be back later today.
Okay, white molding or black molding? Go for the white or the black? Leave it in the comments. Thank you. 